Good evening, Blue Comet fans. Welcome to week number five. Blue Comets are three and one on the year to the start of the SEK League play. Indian Town, always good to have a, our first uh, SEK game at home, I do believe. And uh, we're going to start things off with our coach from Zell interview. And uh, coach, I tell you what, we always ask, you know, and, and I think everybody's doing okay and it's nice to hear, but everybody's still doing all right out there. Yeah. And feeling healthy and ready to go. Huh? Yep, we've been fortunate. No right. injuries again. So Awesome. That, that's so good to hear because, you know, halfway through the season, you figure somebody might have a little bit of this and another, but it's good to have that. And we got enough backups. I think everybody's staying pretty fresh out there, too. Yep. So that's a good thing. Uh, so uh, the guys, like I said, we're getting ready to go into SEK play here. And, you know, pretty much primed to take that SEK league title for the first time in a while. But, I mean, how are the guys feeling about where they are so far this year? You get a good vibe from the guys here at practices and things yeah. this week? Yeah, I get a very good vibe from, from the kids. Um, you know, my biggest uh, concern is not getting overly confident, like we I think we talked about, you know, last week as well. Um, just taking one game at a time and uh, realizing, you know, the opportunity that you have every Friday night to win um, doesn't come easy, and not not to look past any opponents. You know, Indy's a lot better this year, and and man, we got to be focused. They, they their offense is tricky to stop. You have to be very disciplined. So it's a big week this week for us just to stay focused and and continue to get better. So All right. definitely. Well, I tell you what, it was a uh, good game last week. It was going back to against Ottawa. It was a big 52 to 20, uh, 51 to 21 win there for the Blue Comets, and it was like it seemed like that first half. Uh, it's kind of stretched out there forever, but I mean, both teams played really, really good. I mean, the Blue Comet defense was right there. I mean, this was that one game where we had talked about it pre and where we had a couple games where we had a good running game, good pass game, blah, blah. But this is that one where the defense, special teams, everything was the combination of all of it came together in this game, I think. That's exactly right. That's what, you know, I was talking to some people yesterday that were asking some questions. And that was the first first time this year that we, we've kind of clicked on all cylinders on offense, defense, passing game, run game. You know, stopping the run, stopping the pass. So it was good to see we needed that to happen, and uh, kind of showed what can happen for us when when all those things align. So definitely, you know, and big plays too. I mean, you know, we had uh, to start off with a good drive there to start things off. You know, and you get a, a big pass play there to to Brody PV to get one going. And, I mean, we had seven drives in that first half, and we scored on six of them, and we had a turnover on downs as we went through the middle of the uh, first uh, quarter into the second there. But, uh, you know, and, and they had some big plays in there. I mean, that was what their, their thing was. They had some big plays in that first half. They were able to actually put some points on the board before the end of the first half. But, you know, just big plays all around. And then, you know, just also working on offensive plays, too, and defensive plays. I think we got a real good chance of that because they were already putting together some drives. We knew they were going to do that. Yeah, yeah, they, they're a good team. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate to play very well, so. Yeah, like I said, uh, they, they kept coming back out and, and uh, they had a, a good offensive plan there and they tried to throw the ball a little bit more, but we had a good defensive plan and uh, we kind of, uh, we kept their offensive, I should say their passing game down, which is where I think they really want to go because you talked about how they wanted to get into it a little yep. bit more, but Coach Emling had, had them ready to go for that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We played pretty tough on defense. You know, we gave up two scores late um, and then the one big play that led, you know, led to their touchdown in the first half. Uh, you know, the other two were pretty late, so we were happy with, you know, giving up seven with our first group of guys. So. Right. Well, I do have to ask, too, you know, when uh, we had the, the kickoff there, and, and it was on their end of the field there, but I didn't see a penalty flag, but ended up, they ended up getting the ball back there. I, I, maybe I missed something in there. I thought I'd ask you how that came out to be their ball when it was definitely 10 yards, we caught it, and all that other, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I've seen the same situation happen before, um, and we've actually been awarded the ball. Um, the official on our sideline told us that we we can't catch the ball in the air on kickoff until it touches the ground. And I, I haven't double-checked on that rule. I need to do that. Um, but, you know, given the situation of the game, I didn't argue. Right. I just We just moved on. Okay. Now, if it was a... Fizzle uh, tighter. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A tooth, tighter and, game, tooth yeah. and nail game, uh, there might have been some more discussions, but <laughs> Definitely. just let it go. All right, there you go. I understand that. Yeah, because I got confused. I didn't see it a foul, and so I didn't know exactly know what it was. So, yeah, we'll definitely have to look that up, too. And also during the game, too, you know, we get to calling some of the, the names out there and, and uh, the uh, the goal line stand where uh, TDXL got in there, I like to call him, and uh, he, got, he made a big stand. He got in there, pulled it back, and I said it was somebody else, and the numbers get a little crunched up in there. So, TD, I promise, man, I'm sorry, I saw it was you, brother. I promise we can get you back out there. But that was a great play, too, because, I mean, they went down there, coach. I mean, it's a one yard line, and that defense stood up, and they were proud after that. And that was, I mean, you don't want to pitch a shutout, but, I mean, after that stand right there, I think that just, you know, pumped them up even more. Yeah, it did. And our, you know, our kids, I heard them talking about it uh, this week, and, 
it was, that's the second time they've had a goal line stand from the one yard line. And uh, the cool thing about our kids is they take pride in that. And it's a challenge for them. And you know, a lot of a lot of kids right now they're on the one. It's first down. They're going to score. Yeah. And our kids look at it as a challenge. And and uh, they've done it twice this year. So right. pretty impressive. Do that too. And it's, you get in that first half and said we were as long way. And then we just decide okay, it's two minutes thirteen left. Two minutes left to play. Let's everybody just score a bunch of touchdowns. And that's kind of the way it was. And I mean, we we were able to. It looked like both teams were able to work on their two minute drill there and we were able to score even though they, we gave up a touchdown but we were able to score in a two minute drill and that's something you really want to work on too. Yeah and that's that's the biggest reason why we did it is you, know, you want to get in those situations in a game, in a real game and um, you know we probably didn't have to do it but um, there's going to come a time in the season where we're going to have to do it and, right. you know that that should be big for us moving forward that we you know in a couple minutes we went down the field and scored right before half. So. Yeah. yeah definitely did a great job there too and then we moved into the second half and uh, starting off with with a uh, with a safety there and uh, oh uh, Braxton Hardy I think was the one that got that back there and did and I liked his tenacity on it because he was being blocked out of play and he stayed with it and ran around to come back and caught him from behind so good job there by Braxton and, and you know like I said defensive scoring special team scoring uh, that's when you know things are clicking. Yep, yep. We've done a good job of that this year. I hope it doesn't end. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Too. Well, even to start that, uh, even to start that drive when we started the second half, Big Harris is out there, and I mean they sent that run back out there to block him, and he just leveled him, and he made the play too. So loving watching Harris play out there too, as well as everybody. But I mean that was just one thing I noticed right there to start the second half. Yeah, no doubt. I mean I noticed that too. <laughs> I think everybody in the place did because it was loud. Man. Exactly. I mean, kid, kid was on his back pretty quick. Yes, he was. Well, I tell you too, and then we kind of took that second half and. It really worked on some long drives. They did, and we did. We took a, you know, 57 yards took almost six minutes to make that drive. That's that's something you need too. If you're wanting to grind something out with somebody, then you know your defense is uh, having a little trouble. If you can grind out a drive like that, uh, that's something that's gonna be helpful down the line too. Yep, that's definitely that was one of my favorite drives of the right. game. You know, uh, just to be able to control the ball, the ball, get a touchdown on the board, keep the clock rolling. You know, there's gonna be situations where we'll be able to do that too, right. and that was a big drive uh, to help us there. So. Definitely, and then, you know they had a big drive there toward the end. You know we got some of the uh, some of the uh, other guys in there as well. You know we got to see Herb. We got to see you know uh, Lucas do some kicking, uh, which I think they did a good job. I had a little fun there with uh, with those two with your kickers there before the game, talking about kicking fifty yard field goals into the wind, and mm -hmm. they were giving each other up times. That was pretty fun. Uh, but uh, you know I, I thought that you know the, the guys that came in they did a good job too there most of that fourth quarter. Uh, Herb and those guys are running the offense like you wanted to, and probably wanted to get a little bit more out of it. But I thought they did really good against some good Ottawa teams. They left their first in there. Yeah, they did. They did. And that's just another sign, you know, the future's bright. We got some athletic kids that, that uh, love to play football and they're fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, you know, plus they got the big win on uh, Monday night, too, there in the, in the JV game against Ottawa, in Ottawa's house, too. Mm -hmm. and, and as we were talking about, you know, how, how we it all came together, you got to look at Ty. I had him for 202 yards. We definitely had over 200 yards rushing. Uh, Bradley Peavy, big play Bradley, you know, with a couple of touchdowns there. And then we had some passing touchdowns. Garrett Allman, he made a great touchdown, breaking away from the touchdown, getting in there. That was a great play by him, too. Kept the, kept the penalties down. Uh, Jacob Adams, I'm, I don't know, he missed a point after. I don't know what we're going to do with him. But, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> made up for it, but all around just a great game. You can't, I mean, you got to be really proud of the kids after that. Game. No doubt, no doubt. We're just moving in the right direction. we got to keep it going, you know. Uh, your biggest worry as a high school football coach is just just to keep improving and not not take a step back. You know, we've had some great teams like the 05 team, man. Seems like all those teams have had a slip up at some point. So, man, we're, we're really we're really trying to keep the kids focused on getting better every week and being ready for every opponent. And we can't look past anybody because all these teams left on our schedule are good. So. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, SEK play. Here we go. So let's talk a little bit about Indy uh, coming in this year. You know, uh, I know that these guys and you guys know each other really well because you do some summer stuff together, plus in basketball and everything that these kids play together here. But uh, they got a new coach over there, Coach Black. I know him from uh, the other state for many years. He's good over there. He's kept these guys are one and three on the year started. But they've been in every game, I mean, really close, except for Coffeeville. They got them a little bit there toward the end. But, I mean, they even beat Fort Scott. So this is a team that the Blue Cows better be ready because they're wanting to make some noise in SEK yep. too. Yep, no doubt. And Coach Black does an awesome job. Their offense uh, is tricky. You know, you got to play disciplined and uh, – they're, they're a team that's on the rise. I think they're going to finish the season a totally different team than they started it, just based on watching film from week to week. Uh, they're a good, very good team, and they have athletes, and they, they play hard, and they have good schemes, good coaching. So um, it's definitely a game we're going to have to step up for. Really, yeah, they're going to because uh, they're going to try to come out there throwing the ball on us a little bit. But I mean, I think that our secondary's done a really good job uh, out there, you know, tracking down balls, knocking balls away. 
converging on the ball when they need to. Uh, you know, I think that it was a, a, a lucky catch there that they made again in Ottawa against triple coverage. You can hardly ever see that, but uh, that was there. So, you know, uh, their, their running game is going to they're gonna have to try to rely on, and our front seven, I think, is up to the task. Though. I hope so. Yeah, definitely. I hope so, too. And plus, you know, offense, you can't say enough about our big boys up front. They moved everybody around, and we're starting to really see how those big boys are. And now they're taking care of business too. Good. No doubt, just the little things, man. They sharpened up a lot this this last week on just little things like they were blocking the right guy, but just head placement, getting your body where it needs to be. Um, you know, we knew who we were blocking, so we sharpened up some of those things, and, and we were able to run the ball a lot better. So hopefully right. that continues. Definitely, yeah, because I mean, uh, they they should see that. You know, watching that, that themselves on film, seeing that, saying, "Hey, look at my quarterback. He's staying clean. My guys are getting positive yards running the ball." And uh, that's that's what I see. They're maturing and they're getting better. And I think that's just going to be beneficial down the line. So, I don't know, Coach. I mean, uh, getting ready to go in. I mean, uh, I know you've had a couple of practices. What's the main thing you've told the guys this week before uh, we get ready for this one? Just just to be disciplined and, and to be ready to go. Uh, not looking at that one and three record because it means nothing. You know, uh, they're a good team. They got athletes, like we said. Their schemes are. Great. You know, if, if we don't play assignment football on defense, they're going to move the ball on us. And, uh, you know, if, if there's always a chance on offense you could have an off night if you don't throw and catch, you know, if you don't block very well, things like that. So we got to hang our hat on defense, and uh, the defense has got to be up to the challenge of stopping them. So Definitely. I think we do. Coach Emily will have a good game plan. So good luck to you and the guys, yeah, Coach. Let's you. get another win to start off the SEK with a big one. And then uh, we'll have a couple more in the road and a couple more at home. And then uh, that number nine is basically a playoff game after that. We'll find out here in a couple weeks. But anyway, it's time for the ball game. The guys are coming to the floor. It's SEK League play tonight on your home for the Blue Commons, Z95.3.